St. Mark, we have our parish assembly in the fall, which is done with business, and in the spring all it is is an update that we offer. So therefore, we're going to offer that update this morning, and I'm going to offer a few words, and then, of course, if you'd like to leave, you may get up, but please know the coffee hour will not be open until we're done with the parish assembly, which will only take, I promise you, if you're, if you're patient with me, 10 minutes, and that's all it's going to be. Allow me to offer a special thank you, of course, to our, not only our clergy who serve in the altar at all times, especially our deacons who also serve with us. It's very important the role they play. I am blessed to also share with you as part of the pastoral report that in the last year things have just blossomed. And what do I mean by that? We have two graduate students that are seriously considering entering Holy Cross for the priesthood. We have two high school students that are contemplating the possibility of Hellenic College and thus furthering their studies in Orthodox theology. We have another man who's interested in studying for the diaconate program. Praise God. That's the love of God shining forth. Allow me to say a special thank you to, of course, our Director of Administration, to Dawn Rieger, who faithlessly serves always and truly is a blessing not only to me personally but to our church. Our office begins very early in the morning and is filled with ministries, appointments, counseling, confessions, and visits. So sometimes if you just show up and you want to talk, that's always a blessing for us. However, it'd be much easier if you called and made an appointment because we're always going nonstop. You'll notice when you came into the church, the mosaics, our first first phase of the mosaics is complete with the beautiful fountain. And if you walk down the breezeway out to the playground, you'll see the beautiful icon of Jesus blessing the children as he's going to the playground, the kids are, and also a guardian angel overseeing, done from Italy. They're coming back, of course, for the next phase. We'll talk about that as well. In St. Mark, we've had for about six months our chairs from the hall but I'm very glad to say that from Thessaloniki, the wooden carved chairs have been shipped. They're on a crate right now coming back, and they should be here April 17th. And God willing, by the time Pascha comes, we'll have the beautiful interconnecting chairs here on the sides. And when we do local smaller services, we can turn them and have a little somewhat of a chapel over there. I've talked about the Lenten almsgiving. Please, as you leave church today, be generous for the prison ministry. Very important, and our philoptikos will be matching that. Our St. Mark liturgical life is very robust with many services. Every week, Tuesdays are Vespers, and Thursdays are Paracrisis in the falls, in the springs with, of course, Lent we do differently. But from mommy and me all the way to our young at heart. We have hundreds of things taking place, and I ask you to please, if you're interested, find a way to get involved. I can't tell you time and time again, the archbishop said on that Sunday he was here, he said, boy, that was so crowded today. And I said, actually, it was a little light today. And then Metropolitan Nictadius of Corfu said, I've never seen so many altar boys in all of Corfu, and they're all here in your altar. We are blessed. Our faithful come to church, and that's very important. It all begins here in worship. Everything else is secondary. This is first. We have, even though we go throughout the year, this summer is going to be a busy summer with our St. Mark's summer camp, but I'm very proud, very proud to announce something to you that has not been announced officially, but the people know of it, so therefore I feel the need to. Each year, Hellenic College, Holy Cross, our seminary, awards honorary doctorate degrees to faithful people who have served the church in America with love, humility, and selfless love. And I'm so proud to say that this year at commencement, our very own Lou and Helen Nicosisis will be receiving an honorary doctorate from Holy Cross Theological School. We know of their love. The National Church knows of their love. The Patriarchate knows of their love. I want to tell you something. This is a very special, special thing. One couple each year, one family, one person, it's only been done maybe 12 or 15 times. But then we'll start calling you Dr. Lou and Dr. Helen as well. So God bless you. We are so proud of you from St. Mark that this is taking place and know how much we love you. That concludes my pastor's report. I promise you what you're going to see next is going to be six minutes 
of a little update, and then we're done. But it's an important update. I'm going to ask John Katsupis, who is the chairman of this event, and also John Voitilla to both come forward. John's our parish council vice president. Our parish council president is John Voitilla, and they want to update you just on three or four things of ministry taking place. We are blessed at St. Mark. The love starts here with the love of God, and it flows to all of us. God bless. Good morning, everybody. Um, just before I start, um, a thank you to uh, Father Mark for bringing us up to this point and to Father Alex. Um, thank you, Father Alexander, Father Jim, Father Peter, Father Dean, and of course, um, our Deacon John Christakis also for bringing us to this point. Welcome to our visiting clergy, Father Paul, and um, a big welcome back Welcome to Father Stephen and Presbyteria Nicole. It's good to see you. We're going to start off with um, a parish council update. I'm going to bring up John Voitilla, uh, president of the parish council. Thank you. Christ is in our midst. Yes. This morning, I got up and one of the things I do on a daily basis is I go to the Greek Archdiocese website because I want to be able to see what the tones are, see what the readings are. And this morning I was reading something because I want to talk about three things today, uh, energy, discipline, and focus. And I was reading about Archbishop L.P. Fedoris' visit to St. John the Baptist in uh, New York City. Um, and he celebrated the second salutation service this past week. In the last sentence of the article, it talks about the president of the parish council says, Mr. Theo Chris noted, your eminence, we cannot tell you how inspiring this visit of yours has been for us and the energy it has given to us to keep moving forward. I said, how appropriate, um, because when we talk about energy, discipline and focus. So the energy, we feed off each other. Um, three weeks ago, we had the Archbishop here with the Holy Synod for the entire weekend. They were doing the work of the Synod. Right? They were meeting, they were making decisions, etc. But having them here throughout our church campus gave us energy, gave the parish council energy to keep moving forward. And then obviously with the uh, hierarchical liturgy was beautiful. Today, we have energy. Count it up. We eight priests and a deacon in the altar. How much more energy can one church get, right, on a particular Sunday with a full house in, of worshipers, which is just, just amazing. Then I talk about discipline. And when I talk about discipline, what I think about is, especially for our parish council, is we're not starting over. People always ask, well, what are you going to do? We're not starting over. Our forefathers here at St. Mark laid the foundation for how we do business, how we do church business. Has it grown? Yes. Is it more challenging? I don't know if it's more challenging today than it was when you're trying to figure out how to pay the electric bill one particular month. We have different challenges, right? So our discipline is, is our counsel in my role and responsibility is to seek from advice and counsel. I think about Jim Dovis was president last five or six years. I got to watch Jim and see how he interacted. By the way, watched how Jim helped na navigate us along with Father Mark through the great pandemic which we did, and we thrived on the other side of that. And then I talk about focus. When I think about focus, one of the things we wanted to do, and I want to share with you this morning, is what are we focusing on as a parish council? And this informational setting is a great opportunity. So first thing we do, we said we're always going to look at our mission um, of the church, and that's to be Christ-centered in everything we do. So we start every meeting with that. Second thing we do is we celebrate our in corporate America, it's our, it's our wins, in a church, it's our blessings. Father said that a few weeks ago. So you think about, we had the blessings this year already, finishing up the first quarter. We had the blessings of having a high arcs and the Holy Senate here for an entire weekend. Um, and to be able to interact with them uh, in a small group setting was just amazing and very inspirational. Our blessings also, you think about our festival, seems so far away. It was only uh, 90 days ago, and Joe, Joe Porras and Don and the entire committee and all the booth heads, congratulations. It was a record success. But the best part of it 
for me personally was the money that we were able to give back into the community, the money that we gave to Holy Cross Hellenic College for a new computer room, which is amazing, the money that we gave uh, the Flop to Host that does the mission of helping people in our own community. And then third, Boca Helping Hands, which is a phenomenal charity here in Boca that helps feed people in times of need. So we, that's what I would open up our meeting with today, our blessings. Um, I wanted to talk to you briefly about what our goals are. So we established goals as part of our focus. There's really the following areas. So the first one is we put together, we said everyone on the parish council will take a role in leading something. That's part of the rules of engagement to be on the parish council. Um, so we have a team that, that's headed up with Jim Dovis, former president of, of a campus review. And what do I mean by that? Dino, Master, Master Akis, where's Dino? Does a phenomenal job on the day and day maintenance of our campus. It's a big campus. And there's a lot of work to do. As you guys all know, living in South Florida, things uh, like outside elements, there's a lot of things we need to do. So we're, we're undertaking an entire campus review and looking at our space, looking at our efficiencies, looking at what type of, of uh, perhaps larger capital expenses are needed. So that is underway today. And in fact, the next council meeting that we're having, we're gonna start the meeting by walking through the campus so everybody can see firsthand uh, some of the challenges and opportunities we have. Second one is hall rental. So Ramona Bean is heading up the hall rental process. You know, the last few years we had um, uh, a bridge club that you know, took the facilities and paid us on a regular basis. I think it was six days a week, is that right, Father? And they did that for a number of years, really good partner. That changed and uh, they're no longer here. So we have the hall vacant, which is not a bad thing. It's nice because it gets used, but we can leverage, leverage our hall. So Ramona's heading up a team to figure out how we can get this launch this year without changing anything dramatically and start renting out the hall for income and learn from that as we, as we tie in with our campus review. Uh, the third area, stewardship growth. We are blessed at St. Mark. Uh, if you go onto the website, you have Angela and Gerard Mitchell are on there talking about stewardship. And we have the opportunity because we don't do collections. It's all about us giving and thinking about what we can contribute to the church. However, on the stewardship growth, we want to set some specific goals, not only to grow stewards, but how do we keep everyone engaged? We know it gets challenging when you go over to the second liturgy and the coffee hour and try to have conversations with everybody. Um, that's why sometimes you need to do other things besides the coffee hour, but we're working on that piece. Fourth area, ministry and leaders alignment. So we have so many ministries in our church that we want to be able to get everybody together and align. Are we all on the same page? Do we know what's coming up down the pike? Do we, do we have our plans? How can we get synergies of working together in the ministries? One of the best things I should have started with to celebrate is our Wednesday Night Live. How many have participated in Wednesday Night Live so far? Raise your hands. We want everyone there. We have so much going on. Father Mark's leading the book club this year. We have the Marksman, we have Goya. Um, I know I'm gonna miss the, some of the ones we have, but. YAL. So there's so much good stuff. That's how you get to know people. By the way, just like working the festival, come to the services during the week. And then the final piece, and I'm going to turn it back over to John, is talking about the endowment. Our endowment growth. We've had an outstanding effort with an endowment board that's in place. The endowment's up and running. Uh, we're going to have our first audit. I want to thank Emmanuel Kotonakis for all his labor over the last couple of years and the endowment committee. And uh, I'll just say it now. Look, if you have the opportunity to put St. Mark in your planning, in your estate planning, see me, see John, see Gerard. We will be more than happy to talk to you how to do that. We are working on materials to make it easy, including online forms, and et cetera, um, because we want to be able to, over the next few years, grow the endowment. Endowment is St. Mark forever. So with that, uh, let me turn it over, back over to John to talk about stewardship. Thank you. It's just on the endowment again, thank you, Emmanuel, um, for some great work and taking us to where we are. Before we get to the endowment, I want to give you some stewardship um, information um, that um, I thanked everybody uh, behind me. I thank Father Mark, but now I look uh, to everybody in front of me, and I have a big thank you to you all because Remember, we stopped the baskets a few years ago. So listen to some of these numbers, understand where the focus is for our church, 
um, and every church should understand what we're doing here to continue what we're about, uh, where we're going. Um, in 2023, one year ago, the amount of money pledged to St. Mark was $792,000. That's one year ago. That's with 480 stewards at this time last year. We finished last year with 706 stewards. We finished last year with a pledged amount of $1,009,000. That's last year. This year, at this time, we have 484 total pledges. Remember, we had 700 plus last year, so we're gonna get there. At this time last year, we had, we, at this time now, we have 484 pledges. We have $970,000 pledged. So, of that 970,000 pledge, 408 has been received already. And many of you pledged credit cards and many of you pledged monthly, but again, those numbers significant for our community, significant for our church, significant for everybody, everybody in front of you and the person next to you. And we say thank you to you all um, for taking us to the level where we're going. I'm gonna bring John back up. We're gonna talk a little bit about the endowment. Um, we have an endowment committee that has worked very, very hard um, over the course of the last couple of years. And um, I'll let John finish this. Yeah, so on the endowment, I think I kind of touched on it, but the reality of it is, look, we're ready to, we're ready to go. We're developing market, marketing materials. Again, we're gonna make it easy for everyone. But, but I want you to think, one of the things that we've talked about as a Paris Council is also as an endowment committee, an endowment board, we don't want to be excluded. We don't want you to be excluded. Think about any amount that you want to give for the future of St. Mark. And, and it will make it work. So more to come on that. Uh, let me introduce, back, call back up Father Mark to close us out with the clergy lady discussion and then the closing prayer. Thank you all very much. I'm overwhelmed at times working with such fine women and men on our parish council that we have. We are truly blessed and we thank them. Uh, John and I have a standing committee meeting each week, and so he comes to the church each week, and we sit for an hour and a half. We meet with stewardship regularly. Um, allow me to finally say at St. Mark, we will be representing at the clergy lady this year in San Diego. Um, I'm very proud to say that this year from our St. Mark, I'll, rep I'll be representing from the clergy side. We also have Tom Spiliopoulos, who, rep who will be representing, as well as Ted Vagelos and Joseph Porras as an alternate. On the other side, with our philoptikos, we have our president, Maria Spiliopoulos, who will be representing, as well as Maria Mercado and Barbara Tassiunas. We're blessed that we're able to send so many faithful there. If there are a few spots on each open, if you're interested, philoptikos, you may do it. Speak to Maria if you're interested in the parish council. The parish delegates, clergy ladies, speak to John in the hall today. May God bless you all. Have a blessed day. 